two churches here in Tampa that are housing police officers instead of the homeless. Andrew's Episcopalian Church, which we're at now, and the Sacred Heart Catholic Church, which we're about to go to in a little bit. I'll get you everything you want it. I'll get you everything you need. You don't need to believe it here after. Just believe in me. Mike Jack! Mike Jack! They're over! They're over! 17,000! 17,000! Homeless people! Homeless people! In Hillsborough County! In Hillsborough County! 23%! 23%! We go and we get the homeless. These churches ain't going and grabbing nobody. You hear me? See, especially since I live here. So I got to run to the neighborhood and be like, yo, check this out, man. Y'all better hurry up. Come on, they got spaghetti. You know what I mean? Like, come and bring people in. Yeah. Oh, we gave them water and we fed them three times a day. When this is over with, you're not going to do that. And let me tell you something. You got that big old church in there? I know we're an eyesore, apparently. You go take your clothes, give them to us, line us up, shower us. The more that is done, the merrier we're gonna be. We talked to security today. We, we talked talk to, to security, security today. Apparently, apparently, the church, the church does not allow, does not allow homeless people, homeless people to stay in this church. To stay in this church. And what are the different types of services that you have for the homeless? You don't have Why? Wow. How many homeless people are in this county? I don't know. I mean, we, we have facilities where we refer them to the Salvation Army. Okay. Yeah, they charge $10 we serve and, and, we, and we pay for that. I'm here to protest the church kicking out the homeless and housing the police and creating a police state in essence for the convention. There are a lot of uh, plainclothes police officers walking around downtown offering to pay homeless people to get out of the city of Tampa. Uh, police officers have also gone around to the homeless people and told them if they are homeless and they stay in city limits, they will be arrested. We don't play here in St. Pete, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tampa don't play. Okay? And like Flint don't play. A lot of places don't play. And like when they, when they keep pushing us back, keep pushing us back. They kicked out, they tore down two apartment buildings and built two condominiums that nobody moved in. That's retarded. That's sad. That's sad, bro. That's so sad. Yeah. You know? And those are my friends and family. We hung out every day. And I get to watch them sit around and gain addictions from depression and whatnot. It's very concerning because it's illegal to be homeless in downtown Tampa. Homeless people aren't allowed to sleep in public parks or on the sidewalk anymore because of the special event zone. 